First on the tee, Kevin Chapo. I believe I have the best team in the game. I've surrounded myself with the best team that's given me the best knowledge. And uh, I believe as soon as I start executing the knowledge that's been given to me, that's when I'll be create separation between myself and the PGA Tour. Winning seemed inevitable when Kevin Chappell first turned pro after winning the 2008 national team and individual titles at UCLA and being named the Jack Nicklaus Player of the Year. With success comes expectations and for me in my career that's been tough to live up to my own expectations but what I've learned is just how competitive the game can be. The California native wins just a couple hours away from home in the Bay Area. Kevin Chappell, the 2010 champion. His first professional victory came at the Stonebreak Classic, and he earned his PGA Tour card later that year after finishing ninth on the Web.com Tour money list. My goal was to get off to a quick start. Unfortunately, I didn't. A very untimely bogey. And I learned that the PGA Tour isn't necessarily about making birdies, it's about surviving and making sure that when you don't have your A game that it's still good enough to compete. I want less, less of your upper body moving away from the ball. You can turn all you want. I created a atmosphere to be successful, created a team. Without them, I would be lost, but through structure and game plans and stuff like that, I created some consistency and some momentum moving forward, which I didn't have in 2012. Chapel struggled that year, missing nine cuts and only breaking into the top 25 five times in 29 events. He finished 125th on the money list. Any lower? and he would have lost his card. I was searching all year. I changed coaches. I changed caddies a few times. I just, I didn't have much of a direction. So I've got great people around me that aren't going to allow me to fail. Well, actually, he has nine out. And I think he may be thinking about going back. And I know Mike Manis uh, is thinking eight. My caddy's doing his job of preparing a game plan for us and making sure that I'm understanding it and ready to execute it. My job as swing coach is just organizing the people and making sure that everybody's doing their role and that Kevin's getting the things he needs. So now he has all the facets of the game to play well. Mark brought structure. He's an important piece and has really given me you know, a place to grow from and uh, some structure to, to stand by. One of the strongest members of Team Chapel may not be seen inside the ropes, but still plays a pivotal role in his success, his wife Elizabeth. She's the backbone to my life, to my game. She's the main person that holds me accountable. Early on in our relationship, we both sat down and kind of discussed that we would never settle for mediocrity. So we've really created goals and we know where we're headed and what we want to achieve. With a strong core group around him, Chapel turned in a successful 2013 campaign with three top tens, highlighted by his second place finish at the Memorial Tournament presented by Nationwide Insurance. But the four-year pro is still searching for his first win on the PGA Tour. He has all the shots in the game. He's more consistent than he's ever been. He knows that if he keeps doing good things, great things are gonna happen. It's his turn. He's put in so much hard work, and when you get to that point, it's just inevitable. My motto for the year is, this is going to happen. I'm going to win a golf tournament. I'm going to get that monkey off my back. I'm progressing in my game each week, and we'll see when it happens.